fall in love with him y'all he looks so good and he's just like the perfect chocolate he has a beautiful smile baby i love him if you're watching come hit me up let's give it up to god okay am i actively dating Ooh. Ooh, child. um hey guys queen of hearts here and welcome back to my channel if you are new make sure you stay a while hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit the like button comment below if you are a returning subscriber thank you guys so much for tuning back in and yeah let's go ahead and get into this video it is what time is it it's 8 36 so i don't want to make this long but i do want to answer some questions you guys um have for me so i wrote um i did like a question thing on instagram and let you guys know that i was doing a q a and to go ahead and send me some questions and you guys did so thank you guys for that also if you are not following me on instagram make sure to go ahead and follow i will put my handle in the description box but for right now oh and i'll also put it down on the screen below instagram is at underscore queen of hearts so make sure you go ahead and follow me over on instagram and yeah so just um to preface i am going to be using um my teamy blends detox mask it has matcha lemongrass and clay so i'm going to be putting this on during this video i also have my <laughs> stress relief oh before that i have a discount code if you guys do want to go pick up this mask it is literally my favorite mask right now um i use it all the time i just love it so much and i would say that it's responsible for my glow and my skin and it's healthy lookingness so yeah i also have this candle here it is the aromatherapy stress relief with eucalyptus and spearmint i'm running out because i love this candle so much but this just helps me wind down on the days that are long and it just helps me get my mind right so wine glass <laughs> tonight's drink of choice is going to be this Stella Rosa black it looks like this if you have not tried it make sure to go and pick up a bottle I think I paid like $11 for this at a at a greens um hmm, okay I just did a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this and then we will get into today's video oh that's enough I think that's enough I think that's enough Ooh, child. a couple of questions were repeats but let me go ahead now um, and answer some so let's start with let's start with what keeps you motivated so this question was actually um, asked a few times what keeps me motivated so the fact that I'm still working for somebody else um, I'm not where I want to be I'm not living the kind of life that I dream of um, I'm not waking up every day doing something that I love um i'm still working my mom is still working my sister is working that right there is enough for me to keep it pushing to keep going towards uh, my dreams to keep just hustling every day and waking up every day to try to take one step closer towards the life that i want to live and the life that i want to provide for my family um i really do hate <laughs> that my people work like I see the amount of stress um, that work can have on my family and I don't like that because stress sometimes equates to sickness and we don't need that. I want my people to live a long and healthy, prosperous life so that they're my motivation. The fact that I can't travel when I want to, I have to put 
in time at work to ask someone if I can travel. That's my motivation. Um, okay. Next question is, do you have a celebrity crush? If you know me, you know, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start putting my face mask on. So if you know me, you know that I love, you know that I love Morris Chestnut. As old as he is, baby, I'm trying to remember the movie that made me, I'm looking at my vanity, but I'm trying to remember the movie that really made me like fall in love with him. Y'all, he looks so good and he's just like the perfect chocolate he has a beautiful smile um he just has like this grown man aura about him and i think that's what i'm attracted to the most i might need to put my hair in a in a ponytail i don't want to though but yeah i think that's what attracts me the most is his aura like he can literally play any any part in a movie and I would still be so attracted to him I love him Morris if you're watching come pick me up <laughs> come pick me up baby boy I'm trying to see what that be like but yeah Morris cr Morris crush Morris chestnut is my um celebrity crush the next question is what's my favorite movie um so I don't really watch TV like that let alone movies like for me to watch movies I have to be out of town because when I'm home I'm always on go but if I had to choose it would be Y'all don't think I'm so crazy, but it would be the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Me and my sister used to watch that movie all the time. Um, either the Beverly Hillbillies or Parent Trap. Comment below if you have ever watched um, either of those. And both of those are, are movies that I've watched with my sister growing up like we used to rewatch them all the time um <laughs> but i would if i had to choose i would say that those two are my favorite movies let me see what the next question is what's your favorite food so my favorite food i have more than one first of all i'm a foodie um i can't like seafood and hot wings go neck and neck i cannot choose between those two but i love seafood i love crab legs i love mussels i love shrimp i love lobster tails i love it all i kind of think i feel like i'm missing something I don't know, but I love, I love a good seafood boil. Um, I can eat seafood every day. I used to be pescatarian back when I um, was on my weight loss journey, probably like two years ago. I don't know, when that changed, probably a holiday came up and I couldn't help myself. <laughs> but yeah, fun fact, I used to be pescatarian. I'm actually thinking about going back my mom is pescatarian now and she says that she has a whole lot more energy now that she's not eating like harsh meats chicken beef um things like that so yeah my favorite food would have to be hot wings with lemon pepper sprinkle all flats with blue cheese or seafood like a seafood boil let me let's see share your skincare routine 
So I do this probably three, four, five times a week. Um, I don't wear makeup during the week at all. It's very wear, very well. It's very rare that I wear um, makeup during the week. Um, I have to. I really got to be off work for me to wear makeup. But um, what do I do? I use the. I still use my um, Urban Skin RX cleansing bar. I use that, and I also use this. I'll show you what this looks like. This rose water glycerin, rose water and glycerin um, to tone my face. And I ran out of moisturizer, so I haven't been moisturizing my face as I should be, but um, I used to use the Urban Skin RX Vitamin C or D moisturizer. Um, It's in like this orange tube, but I used to use that um, when I had some. And then I do this mask, like I said, three to five times a week. And this mask is has become a holy grail. Um, I love how it just gives my skin an effortless glow. And I would say that it's helping with my um, my tone in my skin for me to have an even tone. Okay, so I'm supposed to let this sit on my face for I believe 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. So while this is drying and getting my skin together, I'm gonna answer some more questions. Let's see. Um, What new goals do you aspire to reach by the end of the year and how do you stay motivated? So I did go ahead and answer the motivation part, but what new goals I aspire to reach by the end of the year? If you are not new to my channel, you know that I am moving really, really soon. Um, still gonna be located in Charlotte. I am just moving to another side of town alone and i'm super super excited about that um i talk about it all the time i'm just <laughs> ready to have my own space um again because this will be the second time that i'm moving out but i'm just ready to like be able to film more i don't want to have to worry about um am i going to be in the way like if someone's downstairs cooking and i want to film downstairs i don't you know i just I just want to be able to create when I want to create um also so I'm moving also I am almost monetized here on YouTube so let's give it up let's give it up to God okay because without him I am nothing but yes thanks to you guys um I am almost monetized here on YouTube so that is another one of my goals that I plan to reach um really really soon i'm super excited because i've been wanting this for a long time especially with my consistency and being able to see it continuously um pay off whether it be the number of subscribers i gain whether it be um just seeing you guys comment and interact with me on my channel i love that um seeing the number of thumbs up go up on my video i just love the process of um, getting to where I want to be and the things that I have written down and set for the year of 2021. I'm super proud of myself and I have nobody to thank but you guys and God because he's literally the source of everything for me and I'm just so thankful to be where I am and the journey that I'm on and the journey that we have left to go so I'm super excited so I think um let me see what new goals do you aspire to reach by the end of the year 
yeah those two are my main ones i feel like i sound like that Chloe, who said that the, one of the kardashians i'm just here to live life like i really enjoy life and the benefits of it and being able to treat myself um when i want to treat myself so yeah those are some things that are my hobbies let's see what's your favorite place to travel to hmm if i had to choose between a city and just like being somewhere in the middle of nowhere i would probably choose being in the middle of nowhere um i love the mountains i love taking cabin trips um and that probably has more so to do with who you go with <laughs> um i surround myself with some pretty fun people some pretty interesting people so um i would say that my time at the mountains is more enjoyable because of the people i go with but also too when i am in the mountains i wake up early and i go sit outside in the rocking chair um, and just listen to the birds and just think and I'm just in awe of God's earth like like you really made this like it's really this pretty out here like you did that <laughs> so um my favorite place to travel would actually probably be the mountains I'm a country girl so that probably has something to do with it but yeah y'all okay so i'm gonna answer two more this one says what are you most insecure about um hmm. so i'm hairy <laughs> i have been a hairy girl all my life like i literally have to shave my legs every day do i shave my legs every day no if i ain't got to i'm not but my hair grows by the minute i feel like if i shave yesterday my hair is going to grow back by i don't know it's gonna take a couple hours it's gonna be right back um so I, w I would say that I'm hairy. Um, also, let's see, what, what else? Oh, I grow hair. I don't know if y'all can see it, hold on. I'm just a hairy girl. Um, my hair grows out. So I literally have to have my mama shape my neck <laughs> because my hair grows my hair grows so far out and it's so annoying especially when I want to wear like a ponytail I always have to make sure my neck is shaped because I'm a werewolf so that's um another thing I'm insecure about I don't know there probably are some other things that I'm insecure about but being such a hairy girl it's definitely top two and it's not two so <laughs> being hairy is my most um, insecure trait I would say um okay I told y'all this video was gonna be short I just wanted to come on here and chit chat with y'all I do have um one more question that I'm going to answer and then I'm gonna rinse this off of my face because it is tightening as you can see this needs to dry a little more but this side is very Oh, it's tight. Very, very tight. Are you in a relationship, actively dating, or just growing individually? Love your feed, by the way. So, thank you. Um, am I actively dating? Woo! Woo, child. Um, okay, let's start here. So the simple answer is no. Here's why. So um, when you work on yourself and it's taken time and you know the amount of 
say this when you know the amount of work it takes to get to a place after you've been in a relationship that you thought would last forever and that kind of in a way breaks you um and your spirit and just you know you have to work towards getting back to yourself getting back in your routine the things that you enjoy um when you work towards that you won't just let anybody come in like a lot of people are not worth my time when you work on yourself and you know what you want and you know what you desire in a man and a husband i desire for my soulmate my husband my partner to want to know about me be interested in me the things i like to know about my day to know what makes me happy what makes me sad like what i enjoy i know for a fact what i want i know what i bring to the table and um i can pretty much say within the first couple of days of us talking if not the first day if i'm going to continue to give you my time because my time is valuable and um i do pay attention a lot more now than i used to when i was younger to red flags such as a person who is who talks a lot about themselves or who doesn't really give you time to speak um so yeah I, I pay attention to a lot more of that now um this was this was actually a three-part question i think are you in a relationship actively dating or just growing um so yeah i yeah i'm not in a relationship um i'm not actively dating <laughs> um and i am growing individually um, I'm learning, I have learned a whole lot about myself within this year that I didn't know about myself last year. Um, and I think it's great. Initially, I was questioning God, like, dang, you know this is what I want. Like, why are you not, why are you not giving me what I want? Like, I go to church, like, I, I think I'm a good person. Like, I don't do bad by people like i um i respect people um i give honor to my elders like i'm just not out here being a bad person um so and to be completely honest with y'all i was mad at god this year um it didn't last long it was probably like probably a month i was just upset with god because i'm just like god how are you allowing my camera cut off um but i was just like god how are you allowing great things to happen to um others around me that you know i desire so much and um this is no like in no kind of way saying that i'm envious because i love that the people around me are getting their heart desires i love that they're getting engaged i love if you know me you know i love love and i cheer on each and every person that i know that gets what they have always wanted and what they deserve but it was just the kind of thing with me and god where i was just like i feel like i'm a good steward and why are you just not um giving me what i desire and so i was reminded that the single season has a reason like there are things that you need to know about yourself there are things that you need to know about other people that you cannot learn when you are in a relationship there are there are levels in life that you cannot reach with someone else you have to go alone there are roads that you have to travel alone and there are things that God needs us to see and to experience in our singleness that we cannot experience with someone else. And so I had to come to terms with that. And it's been a blessing because in the process, um, I've been more self-aware. I have been um, just thankful that 
things I guess um have their timing God's timing is the best and I truly believe that because in this time um like I said I truly got to know a lot about myself um the feelings that I have for people and the feelings that people have towards me you don't like you take it for granted when it's there but when it's not like dang I can't leave you alone like dang I still love you like dang I still want to pick up the phone and call you I still want to be with you every day like those things you take for granted when someone's in your life for a season but then when they're not um you kind of miss those things and you know if you were to ever get back to that what you would do right or what you would change or what you would just appreciate more I'm trying to see was that all my mask is dry now i feel like i'm talking a lot but i did um want to talk about how i was seeing if any more questions had come in but yeah i did just want to talk about um, how important your single season is I wanted to leave off with that because a lot of um, women do desire relationships and do desire companionship and just for someone to be there and although we do desire those things don't take for granted your single season because there's things that you have to learn there's things that um, you need to build on your own to be able to stand on your own. If that does not happen right now, you want to be able to know what you like to take care of yourself, to make yourself happy, to not depend on someone else for happiness. It's things like that that you need to know and learn during your single, single season so that you can still live a life um, of wholeness before God brings what your heart desires um as far as in a husband so yeah um i hope i answered you guys's questions um i appreciate you guys for watching this video i am going to go wash this mask off of my face this is so good um yeah i'm gonna go wash this mask off of my face and prepare for bed and work in the morning but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please like this video. Comment below if um, I said anything that resonated with you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.